Can just bombs protect a village in Clash of Clans? Let's find out in today's episode. Welcome back fellow fans of Clash of Clans, or of course, if it's your first time here, now is the season to subscribe, to turn on notifications because updates are just around the corner. It won't be long and I will be filling you in about all the newest and latest coming to Clash of Clans. All right, so today we are talking about, well, I've got some crazy attacks today. The first one, this actually was brought to my attention not only from my defense log, but from Reddit, uh, this wild tiger guy hopped on Reddit and took a screenshot of this attack and uh, that ended up finding its way back to me, the uh, subreddit, Clash of Clans subreddit, very cool place to hang out. But let's just go ahead and take a look at the attack and yes, see if you can figure out how this attack is going to end. Now, I do guarantee you that today you will be fooled. Today you will get one wrong. Today, you will say, gosh darn it, Galadon, why did that happen? And you'll see what I'm talking about at the end of this episode. But before we get there, let's watch the rest of Wild Tiger's very solid Lava Loon attack with baby dragons and heroes on cleanup. So remember, he is facing a maxed out base, 100% maxed out everything, heroes, defenses, walls, you name it. And he's got less than maxed out heroes, but admittedly, they're pretty high. I mean, high 50s, come on. That is strong. So here we go. You can see 69, 70% damage. And at this point, nothing left but the heroes and the Barbarian King, the only one with an ability left. And there's, there's a quarter of this base left to go down. Now coming up in just a few seconds will be your time to make that decision to lock in that critical vote. If you've been to the subreddit already, you are truly disqualified from this one well okay i tell you what you can have a freebie because the next ones coming up in this video are so impossibly hard that you're gonna need a free one all right so this one may not be that hard but we'll see if you truly want to make this one harder when i freeze it don't go back don't go look at anything else make your decision in the few seconds that you are allotted and then stand by that decision as we roll the rest of the attack so 95 percent Queen is the only one left. Her ability is gone. There is 97. So now you know. There are three structures left somewhere in this village. There is a third structure off the screen. What is it? How far away is it? Does the Archer Queen have to get through another wall? Or is she going to get directly there? You make the call right here. It is time. 99 or 100 What's it going to be as we resume this raid in just a few seconds? I'm going to let you think about this one. Where is that last building? Was the Reddit poster bragging about a three star or crying about a near three star? It is up to you to decide right now. So the Archer Queen headed for that last building has to get through at least one wall and it looks like it may just be one wall standing between her and a three star victory. The clan castle, here she goes firing on it and that is right the time is critical in fact the time is just barely not enough unbelievable one last arrow would have done it it is a 99 percent two star doesn't get any closer than that thank you wild tiger from reddit this is the subreddit post uh he posted it as almost famous i thought that was very funny and uh, hey I wouldn't say famous, but you definitely earned your spot in a Galadon video. All right, so we're going to move on to number two. Did you guys get that one right? Can you do better? Can you do worse? Well, probably either or. Okay, so this is Shiduhosh, I believe. I, that's at least how I like to pronounce his name. Versus Tezer, and Shiduhosh is from Lost Phoenix, of course, my home clan. Going after a very high-level base with some high-level heroes as well. And you'll notice... Well, Lost Phoenix kind of likes their Electro Dragons, just going to say. Now, I do like this base design, kind of unusual, very much working to isolate the core. Will that be a problem for she or not? We will find out as the Electro Dragons go down, then the balloons. Now, check out this very unusual attack strategy. I have not seen this one used before. The heroes and the wall wrecker are being held in reserve. The dragons do a great job of funneling, and you've got everybody headed to the core right there. Good free spell on the elixir storage. No, it, it caught some other stuff too, like a, 
Inferno Tower. But you can see we've got a big group in there in the core. They're going to clear that out no problem. There is a second freeze just missing that Inferno, but it does grab the Giga Tesla. So good value. Dragon's going down. The Lightning helping out. Now you've got the Wall Wrecker top left of your screen. That is going to provide an entry point for the heroes. So the King and the Queen... Wait, no. He doesn't drop them there, does he? I don't remember. I think maybe he puts him down at the bottom left. There, there you go. So there's your wall wrecker. It's going to get enraged. The Electro Dragon, a couple loons come out, and they take care of some more critical defenses. And now, much less for the heroes to deal with. And the Electro Dragon does get another shot off, and that is critical. Again, look at that, man. I'm telling the Electro Dragon. The love the chain lightning. That is so much damage. Now you're at 81% damage. And she just needs 19% with these heroes. Obviously, they have the health. It looks like they have the health anyway. You've got a defending Barb King at the top. A poison spell remains. And both of the heroes' abilities. But again, this raid is lasting a long time. How long ago did it start? Don't cheat. Don't you go back and watch. Well, actually, if you want to watch the video multiple times, that's totally cool. But hey, for the purposes of accuracy, don't cheat and go back and see what exactly happened here. Wait and see if you can decide, is this going to be 99 or 100? Time to make the call. How is this raid going to end? I know I said it a little bit early. Could make it tougher for you, but I trust you guys are smart and you could figure this one out too. So the raid resumes. Barb King on the outside, Archer Queen on the inside, defending Barb King, running interference. Watch the Barbarians on the inside walk right past the Barb King. They don't want anything. Oh, here they come. Now they're going to help her out. Okay. They, they didn't see him, apparently. They are, you know, they all need glasses. But, okay, Barb King down, Archer Queen's ability, bombs everywhere. Four structures remain. 96% damage. Another giant bomb, but this is not the giant bomb replay. That's coming up next. Siege Workshop at the top. Barbs easily have run out of time. Did you guess it? 99%. She do hosh. He can't, she can't, her, his, she... 99%. Two stars is all she can get. Okay, so here we go. This is the bombs of the century. Watch the end of this attack as Raukoi moves in with Lava Lunion. Uh, Raukoi? Cowboy? Or Rokoi? Like, Ro, your... I, I, I seriously give up. Why can't people just name themselves Al, John, Joe, Sarah, Amy? I, okay. So Raukoi working his way in towards the core. Check it out, as this is going to be a close one, obviously. And it's going to be something that I personally have never seen happen before. And it's going to come down to just bombs versus heroes. So you'll check this out. We're going to watch the end of this attack in slow motion. Because, again, it is just about as close as they come. Here's a hint. Check out the damage, the health left on that Inferno Tower. No visible health. That's right, NVH on that Inferno Tower in the core. And that is going to be one of the last buildings standing. On the left-hand side, you've got the minions and lava pups on cleanup duty. On the right-hand side, the heroes on their way in. And it looks like just a handful of archers and wall breakers also remain. And an unknown amount of time. 83% damage. Okay, I'll tell you guys this this time. It does not come down to time. This will come down to damage. They will either get the job done in the time allotted or they won't. We will see. Again, it's going to come down to nothing but bombs and a lot of bombs. But heroes have a lot of hit points. So which way are we leaning here? Oh, is it too early to tell? I will give you guys just a couple more seconds. Giant bomb goes off, clears out barbarians and freeze it right there. Inferno tower burning away on the heroes. I will give you a hint. The Inferno Tower will fall. It comes down to two critically low health heroes and four archers left in reserve for Raukoi. We are going to go back into this raid and watch most of it in slow motion. So the Inferno burning away. Archer Queen King getting critically low on health. It looks like the Archer Queen is going to get through her wall. And as she does, we go into super slow-mo. Check out the tiny bomb. That little tiny bomb, the Inferno Tower goes down one shot, but the bomb is going to explode and finish off the Archer Queen. Unbelievably, she had that few hit points left. She is out of there. 
Now you've got the Archer Queen gone, just four archers and the king. Here come the archers, top of your screen. And as the king gets through his wall, we go back into super slow-mo. Barbarian King gets through his wall. Archers on the right-hand side. Yes, that is a giant bomb. And no, archers are not going to survive the giant bomb explosion. Say goodnight, but at the same time, look at your left-hand side. A level 54 Barbarian King surely can withstand a tiny little bomb like that. The archers are down. Watch for it on the left-hand side. Barb King ready to take down the gold storage. At the same time, the bomb is going to ignite and... Spell the end of the Barb King and spell the end of this raid. Raukoi, 98%. If you guessed 99, you were wrong. If you guessed 100, you were wrong. Yes, finally the know-it-alls can't say they got every single one right. Hey, I, I warned you that people would be saying I can't believe that at the end of this episode. So thank you guys for being here all the way to the end. Come back again tomorrow. Have a great day. Be kind to other people. And remember, in life as in Clash of Clans, make every attack a full attack. Galadon, you get to fill me. I guessed 98 for the last one. Yeah, right. You and about a dozen people in the comments too, I'm, I'm sure. Galadon.